play boxing TV with Dom Hunt. I mean, um, Junior Witters Gym in Rotherham this morning. Um, Dom, how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Are you all good? Yeah, yeah, really good, thank you. Um, so, just before we get started, for people that don't know much about you, know, tell me a bit about yourself, where you're from, how long have you been boxing? Yeah, well, I'm, uh, I'm from Wakefield, uh, which isn't really well known for its boxing. Yeah. We haven't had uh, too many pros uh, come through, but yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping to put it on the map and uh, you know, and bring it up. But yeah, I'm uh, from Wakefield. Uh, I started playing rugby league as a kid, always uh-huh. played rugby league and cricket. And then got into boxing late, but just fell in love with it straight away and just yeah. thought, yeah, this is for me, this uh, is a bit of me, this. And got a bug. Yeah, yeah, just that's it, once you're in the gym and yeah. can't get out now, yeah. so I'm a proper gym rat now. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, so you turned pro in 2018, um, you had your first fight in November 18, so just over, just over a year ago now. Um, how have you found your first year in professional boxing? Is it a lot different to me now, obviously, I've found it. Yeah, definitely, the, the style's different. Um, I think the style suits me a lot more because um, you know I get to pick my shots and I get to kind of build build into the fight and you know establish yourself because I think with three 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 minute rounds mm-hmm. you know it, it wasn't for me whereas the, as the fights get longer and as I progress yeah. you know people will start seeing the best of me as yeah. you know as it goes to six eight and hopefully championship fights and you know I can. Because I'm, I'm fit, I can do the rounds. You've got a good engine then. Yeah, just keep yeah. building, just keep building through the fight. And yeah. I've got a brilliant trainer in junior, and yeah. he'll just keep uh, bringing me on when, when we're ready then. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you had, you did have a good amateur background. Um, how many amateur fights did you have? I had uh, 20 odd, about 20 odd, yeah. So you won, um, you won York's, York's title? Yeah, uh, two York's title. finals as well? Yeah. So, yeah. so <laughs> as, you, as, you, um, as you go on, how, how sort of important do you think that amateur experience is, is going to be? I don't think. It's a tough one because I'm on the fence with it because I don't think it's a be-all and end-all yeah. um, winning loads of amateur titles because I don't think you need to be a fantastic amateur to be a, a really good pro. Yeah. But I do think having fight experience, getting in the ring, learning from your mistakes, you know, losing fights, you learn loads. And everyone, and you know, unless you're Lomachenko, you're going to lose a few amateur fights. Yeah. And you know, it's, it brings you on well because you learn from them. And and yeah, I guess just the experience of being in the ring yeah. and trying different things and getting used to different yeah, styles. And yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, it brings you on well. So I think you do need some kind of fight background, but it's yeah. not the be all and end all to you know win something in the pros. Yeah. So you boxed out of White Rose Boxing Club as an amateur. Yeah. Um, you spent some time at Ingle Gym as yeah. well. Is that where Link with Junior came about? Then how long we how long did you spend there? Yeah, I'll, um, I was lucky because um, I was speaking um, when the ABAs were and I was boxing yeah. for White Rose. Um, I, I was asked to go down and just train and you know I'm really grateful for the opportunity to go down there and obviously at that time uh, end of 2016 early 2017 Junior was still in training you know right. so at that point he was you know still looking for a fight so we were more we, the friendship rather than a yeah. training partnership and yeah. then you know the more time I spent in the gym I got to know him and he started putting a lot of time into me which you know, I really appreciate yeah. it. And then the partnership's grown from then. As soon as it was time for Junior to do his own thing as a trainer, yeah. I was on board straight away. Right. Right. Yeah. So, having that experience, a former British Commonwealth European Oh, champion. his head will get bigger. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that's he's, oh, it. No. Yeah, he's, done, he's done it all, he's been there, seen it all. Yeah. As you go on and you do move up ranks, how sort of vital is that going to be for you, having that experience in your corner? Yeah, absolutely, because he's, he's actually been in that situation. Yeah. So when he gets tough in a fight or something's not working, he'll always have a plan B, plan C. Mm. And that's what we train for. We train for every single scenario you can imagine. Like, yeah. you know, back foot fighters come forward. If, yeah. if one plan's not working, then, you know, we try something else. And we're not just a one trick pony. We've got plenty of, we have plenty of skills and plenty of, uh, you know, strings to his bow. So, yeah, yeah it's, it's working really well. And it, I like because he's calm in the corner and um, he just explains things well, in a way I can understand and he knows how I work as well. Yeah. I suppose it's important that you do gel and you, and you understand each other like that. Yeah, that's yeah. the key, definitely. Yeah. Um, so you've got a perfect record so far, five fights, five wins. Um, you just announced fight number six. Yep. Do you want to tell us a bit about it, what it's going to be, when it's going to be? Yeah, it's the 20, 20th of March at Barnsley Metrodome. It's a Friday night. So uh, yeah, really, really looking forward. I love boxing there. It's a great, great venue for uh, for boxing, and it's a fantastic card as well. Yeah. So a British yeah. title fight. Yeah, a British title well, yeah. fight. IBO international fight, yeah. and there's some really good prospects from all over Yorkshire on as well. So. 
Um, have you got an appointment yet? Do you know? No, you've not got no, uh, no, booked in yet. No. no. Do you know how many rounds it's going to be? So it's going to be four rounds. I or? think yeah, this will be a four rounder. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. you know I had um, I will just before Christmas, so this will be a good one just to get back into it and you know touch wood, get a really good win then and yeah. uh, keep keep progressing. Keep progressing. So so got going forward. Um, what, what is the plan for next year and, and sort of year after? Have you, have you got a set plan in stone, or are you just sort of no. seeing how you go and just want to keep winning, build? keep winning, keep building and. I'm lucky because um, Steffi, um, Steffi Bull has been my promoter so yeah. far. Um, he's been really good and he's put me on really good shows. And yeah. obviously the proof's in the pudding with the fighters he's looking after that if you keep winning and keep doing your job, then you get big opportunities. Yeah. Yeah. So all I can do, keep winning. And obviously now he's teamed up with Ryan Rhodes for Friday Yorkshire promotions. There's some big shows coming. Yeah, and got plenty of dates on that. Absolutely. Yeah. And hopefully uh, keep busy there, keep winning. And the opportunities will come. I've yeah. just got to keep keep doing my end of the bargain and yeah, winning. Yeah. So, brilliant. Well, good luck um, in March. Um, so, just sort of finish off a few questions of sort of little things that are kicking off at boxing world at the minute. So, one of your former gym, gym mates, Kel Brook, boxing yeah. um, a couple of weeks. Did you ever get a chance to do any sparring? Obviously, it's the same weight while you were in there. Yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah, when he was um, when he was boxing Errol Spence, me being a southpaw as well, I did yeah. did a few rounds with him. Right. And that was from experience. experience yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it must and, have been. Yeah, that's what I'm grateful for uh, them kind of opportunities. Can't buy that you know, sort of stuff, can you? No, I'm yeah. yeah, fantastic. Yeah. So he's boxing Mark DeLuca, eight February, Sheffield Arena. Um, do you think he's still got another world title left in him? Well, I don't. He's probably new end of his career now, but yeah, yeah, I don't see. I don't see why not. I think the one five four division just got blown wide open at the weekend yeah, with yeah. Williams losing. Yeah. So I think now it's you know it's. A, I think uh, it's anyone's now. Yeah. Uh, it's a good division, but I don't see why you can't win a win another world title. Yeah. Um, lastly, um, there's another little fight happening. Uh, Fury Wilder uh, in February. Yeah. Um, any predictions for that? Yeah, I, th I think um, I think Fury now is fitter. Is you know he's been in been in camp a long time now. I can't see past a Fury win. Yeah. You know, I just I just love his style. I love love how he goes about his business. But yeah. you can never write Wilder off. He's, no, not with that power. You know, he's, he's, all he takes is one anyway, Wilder. And I just uh, that's why he's so exciting because you can win eleven out of twelve, and then in the last round he can just catch you, can't he? So yeah. it's it's going to be some fight that. Yeah, brilliant. Um, thank you. Thanks for your time. Really appreciate that. Really appreciate you taking the time out this morning. Oh, thanks. Uh, good luck. Um, your next fight. Just to sort of finish off, have you got? Uh, anything you want to say? Any message for your fans, sponsors? Um, anybody you want to call out? <laughs> <laughs> anything you want to say? Yeah, I, I don't think Terry Crawford will be watching this. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but no, it's uh, yeah. I really appreciate all my sponsors getting behind me because you know when you're first starting out in this, and yeah. it's hard because no one knows how good you're going to be or where you're yeah. going to go. So for companies to come on board yeah. so early, I'm really grateful. And you know they're the people that you know. If I get to the top, all being well, they're the people that will, you know, will always be there with me because of being there from the start. So yeah. everyone behind me now, all my sponsors, my team, everyone, you know, I can't do it without you. So thank you. Yeah, great. Well, good luck, and I'm sure we'll speak again at some yeah. point. Cheers, well, mate. Thank, thank you. you.